The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night Time is a play based on the novel by the same name by the English novelist Mark Haddon. And it's a play which I wrote uh, three years ago now, which has had a remarkable life in London and which we're bringing to New York in the fall. Well, it's about this incredible boy who's 15, Christopher, who sees things in, in different ways, but very refreshing ways. And he goes on this detective hunt to find out who's killed his neighbor's dog. And on the journey of discovering who killed his neighbor's dog, he finds all sorts of things out about himself, hidden, hidden truths and lies and all sorts of things about his family and his mum and his dad. And his life is utterly changed by the end of the story. Christopher Boone is 15 years old in three months and two days when the play starts. Um, he adores maths. He's absolutely brilliant at it. But he's a very particular young, young man and he, um, there are certain things he doesn't like. He doesn't like being touched. Um, he doesn't like the colour yellow. He doesn't like when his food touches on a plate. So he's a, he's a very specific character and it's, it's sort of uh, celebrating that in a way and also exploring like the difficulties of, of being different. I think we all feel different. I play Christopher's mother, um, someone who has spent many years dealing with his brilliance and his, and his uh, difficulties. And, uh, you know, exactly right, there, that I play a big part in, in what's complex about his life and, and you come to find out what that is when you see the show. I play Mrs. Alexander and she is a neighbor that lives opposite uh, Christopher. And Christopher, in the course of trying to interview neighbors, knocks on her door and she um, provokes more of a, a a uh, conversation than he's really had and they um, they hit it off in a in an odd way you know there's ten of us in the in the company and we create in the same way that the book is from his point of view we create the world seen through Christopher's eyes that's the main objective of the production is everything is through Christopher's eyes or his other senses like what does it feel like to hear shouting words outside, outside the room. What does it feel like to come across a train for the first time in your life? All of these things are, our job on the stage is to create that world. So it's a very non-linear experience. I think this is an experience. The experience of watching this play, you can't get in any other form. You couldn't have this experience watching a movie. You couldn't have it watching a television series. You couldn't have it reading a novel, actually. The whole play is a celebration of theater in the way that Mark, Hodden, Mark Haddon's novel was a celebration of writing and of reading, I think this night in the theatre is a celebration of theatre, and I think, I think that's extraordinary.